Bonsoir à tous. Merci. À Good evening, everyone. Thank you. I'm Marie. For those who don't know me, I'm Jean. Emmanuel Rodriguez, I work at the OP3FT on promoting for organic technology, and I'm in charge of sharing knowledge with respect to users and other players in the ecosystem. Tonight, I have the pleasure, and I'm fortunate enough to ensure transitions with the various moderators or speakers and to ask them about their knowledge of the Frogans project. To begin with, for this first evening, I'm happy to receive Stefan von Gelder tonight. Stefan has been working with the Frogans project for a long time now. It's thanks to him that the project for the new GTLD Frogans, and Judy will tell us more about that later on, has started to come about as of 2010, if I'm not mistaken. Stefan, today you had the OP3FT with a brand new role. You are the Frogans project ambassador globally. And you're also, before that, you were a businessman, an entrepreneur, very much involved in the internet world in general. Can you tell us about your experience briefly? Good evening, everyone. Yes, very quickly now. My experience is based on naming on the internet via setting up uh, several years ago, just when the foreground technology started to emerge in the mind of Alexi and Amory, meaning in 1999, where with my co-founders we created a registrar called Indom to serve companies, and it was sold in 2010. I've worked a lot on naming and on protecting identities on the internet via the naming and addressing system on the internet. Now, with respect to this first experience with the registrar, I was also very much interested in Internet governance. I sat on the uh, AFNIC Board of Directors, the administrator of DATEFAR, and several administrator, administrator, directors of ECAN, including the body monitoring policies for generic extensions such as .com, to whom we also owe the program for new extensions enabling .forgans to be registered and created them today at I can still I cheer the appointment committee uh, there are two levels in this presidency the first level this year the second next year I won't go into all the complexities of all that but just to tell you that this committee is in charge of reaching out to the outside world to find new talents for key roles at ICANN. This is a role as an ambassador, a bit like what I've already been doing for some time now for Forgans. So we've rounded the circle in that respect. Thank you, Stefan. So it's as a Forgans project ambassador that you will be coming to explain to us tonight why the Forgans technology matters. As a part of your assignment, as I pointed out, it's global. We'd like you to answer this question and to give us a presentation in English. Thank you, first of all, for accepting. After which, I would like to point out that if you don't understand English, you may get headsets at the entrance to the auditorium. Charles over there will give you the headsets, and thanks to the work conducted by our interpreters, you'll be able to hear and understand the speech to be given by Mr. Van Gelder in French. Let me explain briefly how the headsets work, if you wish to use them. 
You have uh, two knobs, one black and one blue. The blue knob will help you to turn it on, well, to get volume, and the second one to find the frequency that you need to hear in French. Uh, this frequency is frequency 4. And if you wish to listen to the other presentations in English rather than French, you switch to button number 5. Do not hesitate to go and get your headsets if you need one. Otherwise, I will now give the floor to Stefan to tell us why the four against technology matter. Merci Jean-Emmanuel. Donc je vais basculer en anglais. Ceux qui souhaitent euh, en effet aller chercher un casque euh, avant euh, peuvent le faire. C'est juste à l'arrière, voilà. Uh, et donc, uh, on va passer en anglais. Welcome, everyone. Um, the idea behind this presentation is to um, act as a, as a way into this second evening of the first Frogans conference. Um, yesterday, for those uh, that were unable to attend either through the live stream or in person, um, we did a lot of background presentations on the Frogans technology. Uh, and this really is uh, a direct follow-on from that. So as a primer for this evening, what we wanted to do was to give you a high-level idea of why we think uh, Frogans as a technology is important and why it will, we're certain of it, have a strong impact on Internet users. Next slide, please. So the first thing to say is that um, the idea itself may seem a little crazy. Uh, the web seems to work. Uh, the internet has been around for a while. Um, why would anyone want to uh, do something else or try and improve on what already exists? Um, once you've stepped beyond that uh, first reaction, you actually realize, next slide please, that there's a lot of uh, things that are great with the web, but there's also a lot of things that can be improved. And that's the approach that has been taken uh, with the Frogans technology. So the idea is not to say that what exists isn't good, it's to say, and this is really in the philosophy of the internet in general, how can we improve on what we already have and uh, can we identify areas where uh, the user experience, because that's ultimately the only thing that matters, uh, can be improved and can be better. Next slide, please. So when the web was uh, invented, and we, we obviously um, many people are aware that uh, this um, year we were, um, have been celebrating the 25th birthday of uh, uh, the invention of the World Wide Web by Tim, Tim Berners-Lee. Um, the world and the internet environment was a very different place. Uh, next slide. Since uh, that invention, uh, a lot of things have happened. Uh, things like the creation of a whole new way of using uh, the internet through mobile devices uh, like the iPhone, and we can credit Steve Jobs and Apple for uh, starting that revolution. Um, obviously now, as we move into a, a new era of mobile use, a lot of people are using the internet and accessing the internet through either mobile phones or, or tablets. So that has changed a lot and we'll look at why it's relevant to the Frogans technology in a minute. Another thing that's happened uh, since uh, Tim Berners-Lee created the web is that we've seen that it's not always something that's absolutely safe and that's secure for users. Uh, an example of that, obviously, is the uh, uh, Edward Snowden uh, scandal, um, where most people realize that uh, even uh, as far up as uh, um, the very highest echelons of state, there are 
surveillance programs. There are uh, attempts to uh, break into people's data and to uh, take advantage of their use of the internet and their use of the web um, to try and understand or gain more information about them, obviously without their knowledge. So that's another area where in those 25 years of, evolu of evolution, um, we've realized that uh, the web isn't perhaps optimal in certain areas or isn't behaving exactly in the way that we'd like it to behave. Um, now, as we discussed at length yesterday, but I think it's important to just uh, remind everyone of this because it's not immediately obvious for people. Uh, people outside of this project and people that are not uh, technically savvy uh, often confuse the web and the internet and to them they are one and the same. That is obviously not the case. Uh, the internet was not invented by Tim Berners-Lee, for example. He invented a software layer. So something that sits on top of the internet core infrastructure and helps us use that infrastructure, for example, to gain access to content through a website. Um, so Frogan sits exactly in the same place. The idea itself is to use the existing infrastructure. So you, we're not changing um, anything major in terms of uh, access to the technology that uh, we are proposing. It is something that's simple for both developers, uh, technical people, and users. And that's obviously very important as we look to boost the uptake of this new technology. Um, so why is it important? It's important because it's an attempt at correcting some of the things that I've described. And one of those aspects that's extremely important for users is obviously security. Frogans, as a technology, has a built-in uh, capacity to prevent malicious uh, uh, software or code from infecting a user's machine. And that's obviously very important because users are not able uh, to identify when those attacks take place, so they're not able to protect themselves. So they are currently, users of the World Wide Web, are reliant on either third-party uh, software or their own uh, knowledge to try and prevent attacks of this kind. That will not be the case with Frogans. That technology will protect them uh, from uh, this type of attack without them having to do anything. So that's obviously very powerful for users. Um, another thing that uh, has happened since the World Wide Web was invented is that the internet itself has become more, much more international. Obviously, uh, the expansion of the internet has been huge, and that expansion is now reaching into areas where English is not the standard default language, where ASCII is not the default character code, and where users would like to access the internet services uh, with their own alphabets, their own language, and using their own culture. And another important as aspect of the Frogan's technology is that built into that technology is this capability of using any script and any writing style to access uh, the Frogan sites, so the content that uh, is available, that is made available by this technology. Um, and as I mentioned earlier on with the uh, uh, slide with Steve Jobs on it, um, we're now in a multi-device world. Uh, that's a problem for web designers, web developers, people that uh, make internet uh, websites, sorry, websites uh, have to constantly uh, code for different devices and take into account the fact that people will be using different sizes of screens, different types of uh, operating systems, different types of environment uh, to use and access their sites. 
once again, with the Frogan's technology, that problem disappears. You have uh, a capability, the, the built-in capability for the technology allows any developer to create a site only once. They only have to code for it once, and it will look the same and be rendered exactly the same on any device. So I'm sure you'll agree that's a very, very powerful feature to have. Um, now, Frogans, like the internet, there's a, there's a basic philosophy here, which I, I hope uh, by the end of tonight you will have uh, uh, fully grasped and understood. Uh, the basic philosophy is that this is something that is for everyone and that is open to everyone just like the internet. The very reason that Frogans is able to exist is because the internet is open and allows innovation, allows new developments. That's exactly the same with the Frogans technology. It is supported by a non-for-profit organization, OP3FT, and that organization's mission is to make sure this technology always stays available freely and to everybody. And it means that anybody can come in and improve the technology. Another important feature uh, as this technology rolls out. So it means, for example, that developers uh, can either choose to use the existing technology to develop sites in a, in a faster, easier, more user-friendly way, or they can actually uh, look at the te technology itself and develop new uses for that technology and new means of, of working with that technology. For users also, um, it's an important factor because uh, the technology itself, as it's uh, presented now, already allows them to have a safer, more user-friendly experience. The uh, uh, multi-platform feature that uh, I mentioned earlier on is obviously important for that because um, they, will ha they will have the same user experience whether they're using a very small mobile phone or smartphone, a tablet or a desktop. Uh, that means they don't have to change their habits to suit the machine. It's the other way around. That's really the way it should be. So um, that, in a nutshell, is why we think the Frogan's technology matters. And um, we're looking forward. This is, this is a, a, a forward-looking project, uh, even though it's a project that's been going on for a lot of years because the scope of the project is really impressive. It's immense. Uh, but it is a forward-looking project. And what are we looking forward to? We're looking forward to that time when those people that aren't on the internet right now, um, estimates put uh, the number of users around the world at around 2.7 billion uh, currently. Um, and uh, as we've seen with initiatives from Facebook and others, um, that's only the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot of other people on the planet, and those people will be coming to the internet through mobile devices, through the ability to use their own scripts, through the ability to view content in low bandwidth um, environments or low memory, uh, on low memory devices. So they need something that is suited to their language, their culture, and their technical environments. And we think Frogans is it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Stéphane. The French was quite good too. I listened both. Uh, uh, so, um, do you have any questions for Stefan uh, about his uh, general uh, presentation of the programs, technologies, and how important it is? Any questions in the audience? If there are any questions, they're invisible. Because when you're standing up there on the stage, you can't see anything with the light lighting. OK. Yeah, I also work at OP3FT. I would like to know if we already get some international feedback about the work that you've been doing as an ambassador. Thank you, Olena, for your question. Well, this work started a few days ago, to be frank. Therefore, 
Uh, and it really it was in a rush with the publication of an article that uh, um, on the afternoon post and is now uh, taking shape today with the creation of um, contents in English language. The presentation you've just seen will be available on the site of this conference and the aim is not only to serve the people who are listening today but also those who might at a later stage be interested to uh, hook on. And so we have some actions, international actions that we are planning and this this process of building up, we uh, are not starting on my own. Uh, uh, Marie mentioned uh, Romuald, uh, Romuald uh, went to ITI uh, recently uh, to, he is in the Anglo-Saxon world and these people uh, in the field of trademarks are very interested in this kind of technology. So we have a number of actions uh, which are taking place at the same time, uh, converging towards the uh, international uh, um, arena. And the, the more we move forward, the more we will have to uh, materialize this technology, because for the time being it's still very much theoretical as people are not in a position to use it. So the, the work of an ambassador is to make uh, to turn this technology into more practical um, forms. Uh, thank you.